tutorial for Nokia HQ and today's tutorial we're going to once again show you how to build a Chrome extension without code using just your Bubble application and our Chrome extension integration with the plugin. And the Chrome extension we're going to build today um, is going to be a simple but probably quite useful one uh, which will be in Amazon.com or similar e-commerce uh, marketplace um, scraper. So in our case we simply want to build a Chrome extension that um, when it's open, grabs the product name um, and the product image, all right, um, and even maybe the product price, and then just displays them and then obviously saves them in the Bubble database, and then you can um, use this data however you like. So I just have here a random uh, product here opened in a keyboard, and we're going to jump uh, right into our um, Chrome extension. So I already set up my Chrome extension page. I have the plugin here dragged onto the page, and I have my Chrome extension built installed here. If you're unsure about all of this, please watch one of our other videos. We have lots of videos explaining how to set up a build, how to set up your page and use the plugin. So this is a bit more of an advanced tutorial. So um, yeah, we're gonna keep things really simple. I'm simply gonna add a text here on top, uh, call that Amazon scraper, yeah. Um, let's maybe style it a little bit like this, make it bigger and white, all right. So what we wanna have next, we wanna have a simple button, okay. And this button should say get data, okay? Next we wanna have, um, yeah, let's, we simply wanna have, or let's add a state, let's add a state to this button here. Or we can also add the state to the page itself. So custom state, let me delete these here. Let me add a new custom state. Let's call that image, okay? The state type will be of type um, image, all right? And we wanna add another type, which is the product name. Just call that name of type text, all right? Uh, and next we want to have a simple text here. Let's make that white as well. And this text will be the Chrome's, the Chrome page's uh, name state, which we just created. And beneath this, we want to have an image. And this should be a dynamic image and it should be the Chrome, Chrome's image. And that's basically it. So now obviously we have to um, actually set the data. So let's go into get data. Keep in mind, we have our Chrome extension plugin here installed onto the page. We drag the elements so we have access to all the actions. And now we actually want to go ahead and start grabbing data. So how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, let's go back to the Amazon page here. And the Amazon page always has a specific structure and you want to take a look at that. So first of all, I want to grab the product name. So what we're going to do in Chrome here, I'm going to right click on the name, inspect that. And we can see, all right, this is this here and it has the ID. So the text always has the same ID. I hope at least, which is product title. So let me just copy this product title. Let's get back here and we're gonna go to element actions. We're gonna find the get value of element by ID. Simply gonna paste the element here. I wanna do next, we're gonna set a state, the set state of Chrome. The product name should be Chrome extension ace returned text. So this is the state you have access to basically. So let's just quickly try that out to see if the, if the first step works. Um, my Chrome extension takes a bit of time to load because it's a demo. We have lots of plugins installed here. Um, if you purchase a Chrome extension, it should load much faster. Um, so you see already what we designed here, quite simple. Let's click on get data. Yep, you see it works. Uh, um, I don't know why I have to click twice, but we have the complete name here of the, um, of the, of the keyboard steel series. And just to show you that it works 100%, let's just take a look at another product here. Let's take a look at this here. This is a gaming mice. Okay, let's open the Chrome extension again. Um, and the, yeah, the Chrome extension will basically grab the uh, the name um, of, of the product, the product name basically. So let's wait a second again. All right, so here is the new name of this um, new product we're taking a look at, look at right now. Great. So. Uh, this is, by the way, the Honey Chrome extension, something uh, you might also be able to build using our uh, Chrome extension integration. But let's focus on our extension here right now. So this is the first step, okay? And now I wanna get the image. And getting the image is a bit more complicated, but not really, because let me right click on this image here now. Um, let me right click again. And you can see here we have this image tag, okay? Um, and we will use a custom query selector. So a custom query selector is a functionality we added to our Chrome extension plugin, which allows you to basically target any, 
any uh, uh, element on a specific page, not just by class, by ID, but by using the actual uh, HTML tag and so on and so forth. So you could basically grab any kind of data from this page you want. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I know it's an image tag, okay? And I know it's an image tag with the ID landing image. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, okay? And what data do we actually wanna grab? Do we wanna grab the class, the style, no, we want to grab the source because the source is where the actual image is hosted. Okay, this is the source. So let's keep that in mind. Go back to our workflow, add a new element action. The one we want to use is custom query selector. So the selector we want to have is the image tag and then the ID landing image. And the property we want to grab is the image source. Okay. Um, if this looks confusing to you, I would recommend leading, uh, reading about query selectors in, in JavaScript. Um, this is some coding that is required, or not really coding, but some um, yeah, information you need here. And now we can also set the state again of Chrome image to again Chrome extension A's return text. However, one small thing is the return text always contains quotation marks. We don't want that in our um, image. So we have find and replace and we, we want to find quotation marks and we want to replace them by basically empty space so nothing. Okay. What we also sometimes do is just add a quick pause between these two um, get um, here get um, uh, query selectors just to um, give the Chrome extension some time to set the states in bubble. Sometimes this is too fast and then it jumps onto the next one. So I'm just going to add a quick pause here. Um, and yeah, so let's jump right into our Chrome extension again, into our product page here, open the Chrome extension and see what happens. So it's loading again. Uh, so what should happen now? We're getting the product name. Uh, the honey Chrome extension is annoying right now. Uh, we're getting product name and we should get this first image here, which is the landing image, the main image of the um, product listing. So I'm going to click on get data. Great, so you can see it worked out. So we have our name here, uh, the name of the product, and you see we have the image actually within our bubble application, so it works perfect. It's the exact same image we have here in the exact same dimensions. If we actually take a look at that image and open a new tab, um, this is basically the source here. I can show you the URL, the source of Amazon. It is directly integrated into our bubble application, and we basically grab the name um, of the uh, uh, product uh, and the image. And then obviously you can add a button or a workflow that creates a new listing within your bubble application, uh, saving the product name and saving the product image and basically building some kind of scraping or any other kind of um, yeah, product listing functionality you want to build. And that obviously works with all other pages, not limited to Amazon. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, simple but helpful Chrome extension. Um, I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.